program lasted from 1958 to 1963. The Mercury 7, test pilots all, Scott Carpenter, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, Gus Grissom, Wally Schirra, and Alan Shepard Jr. and Deke Slayton. Their task proved that man could fly into orbit around the Earth and return live and well to talk about it. Shepard was first in Freedom 7. His 15-minute suborbital hop on May 5, 1961, proved the United States was catching up with the Soviet Union. Three weeks later, President Kennedy's I call for a this lunar landing. Should commit itself to achieving the goal before, before this decade, decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. America was launched into a race with the Soviets to be the first on the moon. On February 20, 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth in Friendship 7. Carpenter did three orbits in May of 62. Shira, six, five months later. Cooper wound up the program with 22 orbits in May 1963. Gemini, the bridge to Apollo, used a more advanced vehicle carrying two crewmen. Its goals, test the skills and endurance of the astronauts, and practice the rendezvous and docking procedures and other maneuvers for the moon voyage. Astronauts flew 10 Gemini missions between March of 1965 and November 1966. On the second, Ed White, secured by a golden tether, performed America's first spacewalk. He liked it so much he didn't want to come in. Okay, I'm coming over. You see me yet? Oh, there you are. Put the camera on now. Okay. You're right in front, Ed. You look beautiful. I feel like a million dollars. I'm going to pick up. And y'all laugh. I'm coming back to you. Gemini 6 and 7 rendezvoused in orbit and maneuvered in close formation. Gemini 12 confirmed the docking procedures tested on Gemini's 8, 10, and 11. Astronauts got a warm welcome aboard the carrier following splashdown. The Gemini flights were over in November 1966. The crews were ready for the great voyage. But before it could begin, tragedy intervened. Astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee, assigned to the first Apollo mission, perished when fire engulfed the interior of their spacecraft during a launch rehearsal on January 27, 1967. Sixteen months later, a Saturn 1B rocket launched Apollo 7 into Earth orbit. Astronauts practiced rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watched their live TV pictures of the Earth from orbit. Apollo 7, Houston, we have you go for orbit here. Go for orbit. Beautiful. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body.
Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. Apollo 10, the first rehearsal in the lunar environment. Then, Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm um, uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamp foot beds are only uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. Now step off the lamp. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. See if you can pull that in at the top a little bit. Columbia, this is Houston, reading you loud and clear, over. Yeah, reading you loud and clear, how's it going? Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. Beautiful, just beautiful. Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. Yankee Clipper, I'll turn on my tracking light for a minute and see if you see it. Okay, Houston, I, uh, I'm jiggling it. The surveyor is firmly... They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Okay, now we're ready to start getting a TV camera, okay? A big smile, okay. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. At, uh, 141 hours and 30 minutes, ground the last time. Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel was thrown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, engine. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. 